Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have an example where things become a little bit more difficult because we have that x in the numerator to contend with. Now what we're going to do here is use a technique that's not often used but sometimes works and so this is different from what you might want to use in the future and we'll see the other techniques later but let's try this. Let's divide the denominator into the numerator so that we can write this as two separate integrals. So the idea is we're going to do a long division we're going to divide a plus bx into x. Well, you say, well, how do you do that? Well, first of all, what we might want to do is interchange these. Instead of writing a plus bx, we'll write bx plus a, so that's it in descending order. And now you say to yourself, what must I multiply bx by in order to make it equal to x? And so that would be 1 over b. 1 over b times this gives us indeed x and 1 over b times a gives us plus a over b and then we subtract this from the what's above x minus x is 0 and 0 minus this is a minus a over b which means that we can take the fraction x over a plus bx and write it equal to 1 over b plus the remainder over the denominator which is minus a over b divided by a plus bx. So let's go ahead and rewrite our integral as follows. So this can now be written as the integral of 1 over b minus a over b divided by a plus bx and the whole thing times dx. This is an x by the way. There, a little better. So now we know that we can actually integrate each one of these two integrals separately and quite easily as well because we've done these before. So let's go ahead and do that now. So on the first integral, we say, well, this is equal to 1 over b times the integral of dx. And then we can pull a over b out. So this becomes minus a over b times the integral of 1 over, or I can simply write as dx, over a plus bx. So notice how now we've turned this into two rather simple integrals. On the first one, we can simply write it like this. This is equal to 1 over b times x minus, and the second integral will be a over b times. Now, what we're going to do there is we're going to use that substitution rule. So here we can see that let u equal the denominator a plus bx so du is equal to b dx or dx is equal to du divided by b so we can substitute that in here and so this now becomes the integral instead of dx we're going to write 1 over b so that b comes here we'll make that a b square now so 1 over b times du divided by in the denominator this becomes u and that's, of course, that easy integral we just talked about. So this becomes equal to 1 over b times x minus a over b squared times the natural log of u. And now we can add the constant of integration. And, of course, we're going to substitute for u a plus bx. So this becomes equal to 1 over b times x minus a over b squared times the natural log of a plus bx and a constant of integration and that's then the result of that integral a little bit more involved and again this particular technique sometimes is very useful there's other techniques that we can use and you'll see those other ones in the future videos to come but that's one way in which we can do it